Good evening. Welcome to the Choir Fall Concert, Fall 22. We have an exciting night for you tonight. Um, I wanted to just start by reminding you that we are recording this, and we would love to not have any extra sound effects other than what's happening on the stage. So if you could make sure that you've silenced all devices, I'd really appreciate that. Um, this concert will be produced and uh, will be uploaded on our YouTube channel, Lindenwood University Department of Music. How close am I? Is that right? Or is it music department? Music program. Lindenwood University Music Program on YouTube. We have our own channel and all of our concerts are up there. I should know these things. Um, tonight's concert is a little bit different. Um, we are going to take you on a journey. We're reflecting on the journey that we've been through. Um, I know that we are still feeling the effects of the pandemic and trying to come back from that. And I remember when we first started this fall, we thought, okay, we're back and everything's normal, but everything wasn't normal. And uh, we're finding that we need to find ways to celebrate and find ways to, to remember the hope and reach for those things that we know that we can that we can have and we can achieve. So tonight we're going to take you from darkness to light. Uh, I'm very excited to be collaborating on this concert with Dr. Nicole Torbitsky, who is an instructor with the, with the Religion and Philosophy Department and is also our Lindenwood Campus Chaplain. Most of all, she's my very good friend, and I'm really excited to have her here as our narrator and speaker, and she's going to help tie these songs together for a beautiful thread to take us on this journey. Welcome and enjoy. Tonight we start out heavy and dark in theme and sad. And as our concert goes on, we will see the change to lightness and joy because there's still hope in the world that everything is going to be okay. There is still goodness within the dark. And finally, a vision for and a hope of joy. So our program this evening begins with Requiem for the Living by Dan Forrest. It has an angry and often strident feeling marked by sections of sorrow and grief. It's from a major work that was written for a family that lost a child. And the movement that we will hear this evening represents the anger and pain of grieving. The composer chose to delete the Deus Irae text, normally in this place in a requiem mass, and replace it with what we will hear this evening.
From a suite entitled Elements, Canadian composer Katerina Guyman has written Fire. This song has no lyrics, but vocables, body percussion, and primal expression. The ensemble sees this as an expression of fear and struggle and anxiety. It's a song about anger and pain that life brings, full of yelling and chaos to exemplify this pain.
From fiery expressions of pain and anger, we move to another familiar response to the darkness in our world. This slow and dramatic Latin piece represents sadness and the hopelessness of others not caring, of feeling alone and abandoned. There is no one in the world who has experienced as much pain and sorrow as I have felt. The singer asks, do you even see or care about my pain and sorrow? And the demands that we pay attention, which reminds us that we need to open our eyes to the needs of the people around us. The world can be dark and scary, but we can find light in the darkness. Together, we can choose to accept others. We can choose compassion. We can choose to work together for a better day. Darkness cannot overcome the light.
This song was given to concert choir by a composer and friend of Professor Grooms, Brandon Williams, a native of Illinois and a former Missouri music educator. And his song reminds us that while the world can be a place of darkness, we cannot forget to marvel at the wonders that persist nonetheless. You can soar, you can fly.
As we emerge from pain, struggle, and anxiety, we can notice the beauty of the world around us. And the first sign of beauty? Blue skies. Supreme Court Justice Sotomayor said, as you discover what strength you can draw from your community in this world, from which it stands apart, look outward as well as inward. Build bridges instead of walls. Where people are gathered to act justly, bring mercy, and walk humbly, God is in their midst. This song reminds us that together, working for the good, we are unstoppable.
Poet Laureate Gorman reminds us, our people, diverse and beautiful, will emerge. Battered and beautiful, when day comes, we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid. And yes, we are far from polished, far from pristine, but that doesn't mean we aren't striving to form a union that is perfect. Somehow, we weathered and witnessed a nation that isn't broken, but simply unfinished. And so we lift up our gaze, not to what stands between us, but to what stands before us. We close the divide because we know to put our future first, we must put our differences aside. We lay down our arms so that we can reach out our arms to one another. We will not march back to what was, but move forward to what we shall be, a country that is bruised but whole, benevolent but bold, fierce and free. If we merge mercy with might, and might with right, then love becomes our legacy and change our children's birthright. Together as one nation, one people, we are unstoppable.
While University Chorus takes the stage, I am going to take a moment to thank some people. So many people to thank. First of all, we wouldn't have, you wouldn't be able to see us if it were not for um, our lighting designers and our theater technical staff. You would not be able to hear us as beautifully as you do if it were not for our student production practicum and their director, Professor Adam Donahue. So thank you very much for our sound and lights and all of the theatrical logistics that happened to make this concert. We have a full-time faculty that is small but mighty, and um, we are quite the team, I think. Sometimes we wonder if we are siblings, but uh, we're not. Um, but I feel such support from Professor Donahue and from our program, music program coordinator, Dr. Matt Horman. They are so supportive of all of our students and in their academics and in their professional lives and supportive of the choirs and I really appreciate their support, so thank you very much. I'd also like to thank our department chair, performing arts department chair, Lindsay Ogle. She does a lot of work behind the scenes to just make things run very well for us and we appreciate that. Um, and then we are very blessed to have two associate deans or assistant deans and a dean that are very supportive in, of the performing arts in the College of Arts and Humanities, and that is Dr. Travis McMacken, Dr. Shanika Harris, and our dean, uh, Dr. Kathy Vosevich. And we're just very pleased to be a part of the College of Arts and Humanities and to be able to work together with great team members. Uh, it also means that Dr. Trubitsky and I are now in the same college, and we love that. Uh, University Chorus is a comprised of students, community members, some high school students are in the area. It meets on Tuesday nights from seven to nine. If you enjoyed tonight and you wanna be a part of this, we'll start up again in January, the second Tuesday in January, which I believe is January 9th, and we'd love to have you. Uh, just show up at seven o'clock in the choir room and we will start singing again after the new year. So think about that and we hope to see more faces. Let's continue with our program. From George Takai, Asian American actor, he says, our differences in beliefs do not truly separate us or elevate us over others. Rather, they highlight the rich tapestry that is humanity. This song is close to the hearts of many Korean families. Although the lyrics, kind of like you are my sunshine, say one thing, but this is a song of nostalgia of home, of simpler times. It starts out slow and lovely and then goes into an upbeat remix with two percussionists. And it serves as a reminder that we have more in common than any differences.
Your old road is rapidly aging. Please get out of the new one if you can't lend a hand. Songwriter Bob Dylan recalled writing the song as a deliberate attempt to create an anthem of change for the moment. Dylan understood that times are always changing. And this song encourages us to decide if we're going to guide and support good change or stand in the way as our children and grandchildren work to create a better world, just as our parents and grandparents hoped for us to create a better world. This arrangement is a slow, relaxing, and thought-provoking version of this song. Maestro wanted this one to be introduced with no words.
We could have concert choir and voices only join us. And as they're coming to the stage, I'd like to thank and have you help me thank one more time Dr. Nicole Torbitsky for being our speaker tonight. from Amanda Gorman in From the Hill We Climb. So let us leave behind a country better than the one we were left. When the day comes, we step out of the shade of flame and unafraid. The new dawn balloons as we free it. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it. If only we're brave enough to be it. As we close, we finally arrived. This, um, or for tonight at least, we have carved a path to joy. To paraphrase Eudora Vehi, joy is where you find it if you go looking. I hope when you leave here tonight, you carry with you the hope, the vision, 
and the joy in our world, and most importantly, in your life. Now at last, I can live.
Thank you and good evening.